All right, sample problem 3.A says we have a sample of an unknown compound containing 0.21 moles of zinc, 0.14 moles of phosphorus, and 0.56 moles of oxygen. What is its empirical formula? So remember, if you've read in the chapter or done the Learn Smart exercise, the empirical formula is just simply the smallest whole number uh, ratio of atoms in something's uh, molecular formula. So the example that we used was if, if we have the molecular formula for hydrogen peroxide, its empirical formula would just be H. Oh, right? 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, and so it's the simplest form of that. Another example would be, let's say we had ethane, C2H6. That would be its molecular formula. The empirical formula would be CH3, right? Because they have a common denominator of 2. And uh, so that would be, this empirical formula would be the lowest whole number uh, of the uh, atoms that make up the formula. So we're going to figure out now, using some data, how to figure out a, an empirical formula here in sample problem 3.8. So I'm first going to write a formula up here, and I'm going to use decimal numbers as my subscripts, which we, we're really not supposed to do in a, in a formula, but this is how you work an empirical formula. So I know I've got 0 0.21 moles of zinc, and I know I've got 0 0.14 moles of phosphorus, and I know I've got 0 0.56 moles of oxygen. And so I've used those decimal numbers as my subscripts, even though, you know, technically we shouldn't do that. So the next step in figuring out an empirical formula is to determine which one has the least number of moles. And it's phosphorus, right? 0.14 is the smallest number out of all three of those numbers. And then we divide the other moles by that number. So for zinc... I know I've got 0 0.21 moles of zinc, and I've got to divide it by the smallest number, which is 0.14. And let's see what's that equal to. 0.21 divided by 0.14 equals. I got 1.5. Got to do the same thing for phosphorus. I have 0 0.14 moles of phosphorus. The smallest number up there is 0 0.14, so that's equal to 1. And then I got to do the same thing for oxygen. I've got 0 0.56 moles of oxygen divided by the smallest one, which is 0.14. And that number is 4. And now I'm going to write another formula using those numbers. So I've got zinc 1.5, 1 phosphorus, and 4 oxygens. I still have a decimal number here, right? 1.5. So the next step is to start multiplying by whole number factors until we get these this number, right, or anything that's a decimal number, to a whole number. So 1 times 1.5 is 1.5. 2 times 1.5 is 3. So that's a whole number, so I can stop there. But let's just say it wasn't. Then I would go to 3, multiply everything by 3. And if that wasn't, I'd go to 4, 5, 6, so on and so forth. But since it was 2, I just now have to multiply everything by 2. So that means I've got 3 zincs. 2 times 1 for the phosphorus is 2. 2 times 4 for the oxygen is 8. So the empirical formula for this guy is zinc 3, phosphorus 2, O, and oxygen 8.